first of all, I would like to say a hearty thank you to everyone who has subscribed to my channel. I honestly can't describe. It feels really nice to be appreciated and I really hope you enjoy my video as much as I enjoyed making it. Um, so yeah, stay tuned. Also, um, I just wanted to say I've made this beautiful jewellery stand for a very dear friend of mine. Her name's Marta. And we have been friends for a very long time now. I really hope that she likes this present um, and that we remain friends for a long time. I mean, for a lifetime. <laughs> yeah, so stay tuned if you want to know how I made it. So first I'm going to be spray painting both the plates. Um, just take off the sticker over here. One second. Yep. And we are ready to go. I'm gonna spray paint this in black color. You can also spray paint it any color you like. It's entirely your choice. So yeah, let's get started. better if you do these things outside. Um, let me just focus. Yeah. Make sure you always um, never ever like spray paint too close because otherwise you're gonna have like lumps of the paint on one side of the plate and it's really not gonna turn out well. Um, just a tip. And yeah, just repeat the same process with the, the other plate as well. Second. So this is the second plate, the smaller size, and we are going to repeat the same process as you've done previously. So what we're gonna do now is, um, I've got two plates over here, this one and this one here. Um, we're gonna let them dry for about um, an hour or something, like one hour or two hours and then we'll get started further, yeah? So what we're gonna do next is um, shake the golden color spray paint. Spray paint the smaller animals in gold color. It's probably gonna need like about um, two or three coats until it's done um, properly. Um, yeah, so let this side dry and then after like about half an hour, one hour, we can turn this over and then uh, repeat the same on the other side. So in the meantime, all the other ani smaller animals are um, drying up. You can also um, spray paint the large line as well. Because that way it just saves all the time. I bought all of these from Poundland. I mean, these these larger animals are from Poundland. The smaller ones are, are um, from eBay, but I'm gonna be listing everything in the description um, box, obviously, yeah. All 
also once you have spray painted all the animals um, just make sure that they are in the standing position as you can see all of them are standing and they, they are not flat on the paper Be the reason being is this is very very important for you to understand that um, otherwise they will they will stick to this paper over here because because um, because of the paint of course because it's gonna dry with the paper on it so always make sure that once you lie them down spray paint and quickly just put them up so they can dry in this position this is the best position So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to glue this bottom part of the box just about in the middle down here, yeah. So um, first I thought the blue box would look quite nice but you know when I put the smaller plate on top of it over here I noticed that it doesn't match the colour scheme like gold and black. I think it just looked a bit odd so I decided I'm going to spray paint this but I, if you want to leave it of course you can but it's your personal choice so let's get started and spray paint um, the box in black so shake the can before you spray so that the um, paint is spread evenly just spray a bit from far and just quickly and swiftly Make sure the, um, you don't spray from real close because it's going to get like all the bumps and you, of course you don't want that. So yeah, it all actually turned out quite well, I think. So let it dry for about, I would say, 45 minutes or something. Just tap it and just double check if it's if that's dry or not. So yeah. Um, if you don't want to use this strip here, you can also use the pearls as well. Or you could use these alphabets. Um, I mean, if you're gonna gift it to someone, just use the initial of um, their name. I think it will look quite nice. So just glue the top here. And just put, put, place the plate on top of it, just in the middle. I'm just gonna eyeball it. So I think right about here. Yeah, just in the center. Now what I've done is I've placed four animals, as you can see, um, like a compass, like all the directions. Because um, when we place the other animals over here, it's going to be exactly in the middle. Like, for example, this one we can place the... That the gorilla yeah you can just place it over here for example so we're gonna repeat the same like one here one there and one on this side so once we are done gluing all the animals at the top and the bottom of the plate we're gonna take a thin strip this one here the diamante strip and just glue it around the body of the leopard um, I think I would suggest you to do this um, before you glue it down the plate because I just realized right now but it's okay I'll still get on with it um, I just wanted to say my favorite animal like with, with the golden art is the elephant I think it's so beautiful how it turned out 
um, why don't you guys tell me which one is your favorite in the comments down below so what we're gonna do next is just to seal off the whole project and make sure that the paint lasts for a long time we're gonna seal it with this spray I'm gonna mentioning it everything in the description box Oh my god, just look at the giraffe. Um, it just did, didn't want to stand. Seriously, it's so funny. Um, I tried it like so many times and then I thought, you know what? Um, you are not going to be used in this project. I'm sorry, you have to leave the project. 